Today in our 2015 Kia Sedona, we're doing a test fit of the Kurt Folding 20 by 60 cargo carrier. That part number is C18151. Now this has a weight capacity of 500 pounds and works with two inch hitches. So the first thing we're gonna do while it's installed on our vehicle is take a few measurements. We're gonna start off with our ground clearance here. We're gonna have about 10 inches. Overall to our vehicle, we're going to have about 31 and a half inches and our closest point is going to be about 10 and a half inches away there. Now on our Kia we do have a single passenger side exhaust. It comes straight down towards the ground so we shouldn't have to worry about carrying heat sensitive materials in a specific region on our carrier. The next thing we'll check is our breakover point of our hatch door. That's going to be the point at which anything might make contact. It's going to be about 24 and a half inches. So if you are worried, I would just remove any items that you have that might cause a problem. The next thing we'll do is remove our pin and clip here at the center. And we can come to the back and lift straight up. Then remove that pin and clip. And this is gonna be our folding feature. So this is great for close quarter situations like parking. We'll take a few more measurements. Our ground clearance is now about seven and a quarter inches. And overall to our vehicle, we're only adding about 10 and three quarter inches. As for our closest point, even if we move our carrier, we're not going to have to worry about making contact with our vehicle. As for our hitch, if we look down here, we've got a hitch pin and clip holding this in place. And that is not included, but you can find it on our website using part number PC3. So that's going to be our completed look at the Kurt Folding 20 by 60 cargo carrier, part number C18151 on our 2015 Kia Sedona. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 